This is going to be a problem video where we're going to solve three different pieces all related to wavelength. Now, in this one, you see the setup tells us that a nitrogen laser, one of my favorites, gives off photons with a wavelength of 337.1 nanometers. Notice that's going to be a black light laser, ultraviolet. So complete this expression with the correct symbol. Then determine the frequency of the photon and write it down with the correct symbol equals correct value and sig figs and the correct unit. For the last piece of it, answer the question, what would the wave look like if the wavelength were double? Go ahead and pause the video and give that a try. Okay, so let's give that a try here. So, wavelength. Wavelength is given by symbol lambda. Now, what's the frequency? Frequency is given by nu of this photon. We need a relationship that has lambda and nu in it. And the relationship for that will be speed of light equals lambda times nu. Now, the speed of light, notice that we're going, to, in our conversions here, we're going to need to have our wavelength out to four sig figs. So we're going to have to have speed of light out to at least four sig figs as well. So the speed of light that I'm going to write there is going to be 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And that's going to equal my wavelength, 337.1 nanometers. We need to plug that in in the units of meters so that it'll cross cancel. So let's go ahead and do that conversion really quickly. It'll be 337.1 nanometers. I need to convert that into meters. I have nanometers on the bottom, meters on the top. I'm going to have one meter containing lots of nanometers. So 1 times 10 to the 9. Remember, we don't want the negative there because we only do that when we're trying to say it's the small size. So lots of small things equal one big thing. So we'll go ahead and grab our calculator for this. So we'll say 337.1. Then we're going to divide it by 1 times 10 to the 9th. And that's going to give me this value. That's going to be 3.371. 3.371. And then we're going to need to know how many decimal places to slide it. So we look at it here and we see we're at 2, 4, 6, seven places, so times 10 to the 7, or rather times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Quick reality check. Is this a small number? Yeah. Should it be a small number? You bet. Nanometers into meters, it better be a tiny amount of meters. So that's my wavelength. Now I just plug that into this expression here. For more space, I'm going to come down here now, 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Notice we have wavelength here. We're going to divide it to the other side so we can get rid of it. So 3.371 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. I have meters on the bottom and on the top. Only thing I'm left with now is 1 divided by seconds, which is what I'm expecting for frequency. I'll set up my variable there. And now we'll go ahead and solve for that one. So you can see I still have this here. I'm just going to go ahead and do memory store for a moment. So I need to type in my, let's bring this back on screen. Here we are. So we have 2.998 times 10 to the eighth divided by, I'll recall that back out of memory. That's the value that we have written down there. Go ahead and hit enter, and we're going to get a really big number. Let's count how many decimal places we are. We're at uh, how many uh, whole numbers we are. We're at two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So we're at fourteen places over. So eight point eight nine three. Actually, yeah. So it's a five zero three. That means it's going to round up. So eight point eight nine. 8.894 times 10 to the 
we said 14 hertz, 1 divided by a second. That's going to be our frequency for that one. Now, what's the wave going to look like if we double the wavelength? Remember, wave length tells me that it's going to be this piece right here. So if I double the wavelength, it's going to be twice as long. And those are the answers for this problem.